after what's been after what seems to have been forever i mean even though i'm just not quite over the loss of my cat yet i feel ready enough to make a different video or a new video as it goes and um i've got many different ideas you know of different things that i want to do starting off with this one uh quake 2 hd on the xbox 360 uh almost in comparison or yes in comparison with pardon me quake 2 that was recently i say recently released on pc and xbox i think it was on ps5 as well i can't remember now but uh some little comparison of it you know because the the the, the xbox 360 version came as a bonus disc with quake 4 uh and the reason i believe as to why they stopped packaging that disc with quake 4 was due to uh the activision i think it was activision conference uh back in the day uh and obviously moving forward because bethesda or and id software took over that or something like that it was something like that anyway um, and that's why it was never then with the quake 4 disc that's why you find copies of quake 4 that are just quake 4 with no bonus disc um still i highly recommend you pick it up uh i want us to have a little look actually at the uh little look at the bonus stuff i won't go too much into it and then we'll compare that with the xbox one straight xbox series stroke pc stroke whatever else it was on uh version so let's just take a little look at that shall we um where, where are we let's have a look okay so as you can see it's kind of like a generic list of things here i'll we'll be looking around here that's why i've got the little box up there in the window so that you can um Let's have a look at it. the game capture down for a bit. So, oh, go. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> right. Better. So, uh, you got uh, to launch the game, uh, the, the making of Quake 4. Uh, act, there we go. Activision at E3 2005. Uh, the weapon to Quake 4. So these are videos. Uh, Rhino Squad, uh, the concept art gallery, and the E3 trailer for 2005. I think it's probably best if we just, you know, you can see what's there. There's no point in me playing any of this stuff. Might try and rip it and upload it to the to the old to the old interwebs. Um, but I'm sure someone else has done that already. So let's uh, have a look, shall we, at the gameplay itself? Probably the best way forward, didn't you? Let's have a look here. Okay, so it's taken obviously takes a little while to load up. That's just what it is. But uh, I'll just shut up and let's the, let's let the game speak for itself, shall we? Now, I do want to just add to this quickly. This is the Xbox 360 version, just in case I didn't clarify that before.
Established. Established communications. Priority out. So there you go, as you can see, the Xbox 360 version of Quake 2 is pretty, pretty damn good. Now, as the title of this video says, 
this is actually back to back. I'm not doing two videos of this of the game side by side. I thought I'd do something a little bit different, which is back to back. Or is that just a cop out? I don't know. But anyway, hopefully this time I won't drop my controller at the very beginning because this time, but this one. Uh, so and actually, to be fair, it's probably more likely to be dropped because it's heavier. Anyway, um, let's move on now to the Xbox Series version of Quake 2. Let's look at the intro as well compared to, so you just have to watch it really and, you know, and think, oh, is that any better? Well, I think it definitely is. But as for the gameplay itself, I'll get to the same point as I did in the 360 version and we'll go from there. So let's uh, just load it up, shall we? See behind me, all good. I got a, oh, I've got a daily quest as well. Brilliant. So this is the Xbox Series version. Uh, I'm just going to shut up, get open the gameplay, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. speech as these brave soldiers took the fight to the Strode's home planet. We, the rest of humanity, wish them luck and Godspeed as well. Shit! Just overshot 
launched Dallas Communications. <laughs> So there we go. That was the um, that was the Xbox One Xbox Series version of Quake Two, um, and I very briefly at the beginning of that part of the video skipped just quickly to show you what was in the uh, the ID Vault, which is effectively the same thing as the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty when you load up the disc. Um, just to recap over that, uh, you've got all the concept art. You've got the development uh, stuff, including all the videos from uh, E397, for example, uh, when the original, obviously, when Quake 2 was first released. Uh, then there's obviously, you know, it talks about the it pictures of and images rather than weapons, the pickups, and enemies. So, um, yeah, uh, interesting. Um, my thoughts on this, okay, and comparing the two, okay, there's clearly. A vast difference between the Xbox 360 HD remake and the and the Xbox One one. Hey, Hughes, how's it going? It says hello. That's my other cat, by the way. Getting lots of love now these days after what happened. So um, yeah. So um, obviously one of the first things that you would notice is the sound, along with the graphics of the initial intro. Um, the I did have obviously uh, run enabled. Uh, in the gameplay, just to get get through that gameplay a bit quicker than I did on the on the 360 version, um, you can see the shadows uh, of your character as well. Obviously, it's night and day basically, um, but that is not to take away anything away from the 360 version. 
because for all intents and purposes, uh, Quake 2 on the Xbox 360 was the first HD remake. Um, that's what a lot of people agree on. I haven't seen any, anybody disagree on that. Um, but my advice would be, you know, if, you, if you've never played Quake before, Quake 2 is definitely a great place to start. In my opinion, it's quintessentially one of the best FPSs that you can get. So um, we'll leave it there, okay? So I just want a little bit of comparison between the Quake 2 version, Quake 2 versions, Xbox 360 versus Xbox One stroke Xbox series. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm feeling a little bit better now, and uh, hopefully I've got some good tech, well, not hopefully, I know I've got some good content coming up for you in the near future and beyond. So um, I don't know, I keep looking to use the mouse to stop this. I don't need to. I can just use this, this, the, um, the stream deck to do it. So anyway, until the next one, see you later.